So YouTubers and YouTubettes, welcome to another Luck No Skills tutorials. Today we are learning how to make a human mob using MCP with Mod Loader. Firstly, you must have already set up MCP, and if you haven't, go watch the tutorial here. And if you have, follow along. Next, we're going to open up a text editor of your choice. I'm using Edit Rocket, as always. And let it load. And we're going to make a new file and save it as mod with a lowercase m underscore. Uh, and then what you want to call your mod. I'm going to call mine penguin. Uh, fail. Penguin. Dot Java. And we're going to make sure that this is saved in MCP. SRC. Minecraft. Net. Minecraft. SRC. Next we're going to type the following. Package. Net. Dot. Minecraft. Dot. SRC. Uh, semicolon. Enter. Import. Import java dot util dot random semicolon enter <laughs> import java dot util dot map semicolon hit enter twice and type public uh, not static public class mod underscore penguin uh, extends extends base mod with a capital B and M enter opening uh, squiggly bracket public mod underscore moth mod underscore penguin uh, opening closing bracket enter opening squiggling bracket uh, squiggling well um, squiggly bracket and then we're going to type the following mod loader mod loader dot register register entity why do I keep doing that entity ah, I can't even spell entity jeez Entity, uh, I think it's ID, right? Yeah, ID, opening bracket, entity, penguin, dot class, and we're going to make this class or file uh, in a couple of minutes, comma, space, two quotation marks. In those, we can type its name. This is not going to be the in-game name, even though it doesn't have an in-game name, but it's just something Minecraft references to. Okay, uh, Outside of those um, quotation marks, we're going to go comma space, and now we're going to give it a unique entity ID. But you can just put anything if you want. But we're going to put in mod loader dot get unique New York. No, I can't say it. Sorry, just to disappoint you guys. Okay, so get unique um, entity entity ID with a capital I and not a capital D. Opening closing bracket and a closing bracket and to end it off is a semicolon. Now we're going to hit enter twice and type mod loader dot add spawn and as exactly as it says we're going to give it a spawn. So we're going to go entity penguin. Oh, make sure that's capital penguin uh, dot class comma space and now we're going to give our mob a spawn as I said before but this is going to be the following integers the first integer will be the rarity of this mob the second integer it will be the um, minimum spawn rate of this mod per chunk which is a 16 radius I'm I believe a 16 block radius excuse me and the last integer is the maximum so let's put 20 in my notes comma space 4 comma space 5 so as I told you earlier this will be how rare it is the higher it is the less the more rare it is no the less rare it is and the second integer is, uh, 4 is the minimum spawn rate uh, not spawn rate spawn entities okay uh, there'll be 4 entities in each chunk and there can be a maximum of 5 okay after that we're going to type dot um, not dot <coughs> comma space enum with a capital E this creature this capital C and type with a capital T yes dot now we are going to go to the enum creature type cl uh, cl yeah, class and as you can see there's a monster, there's a creature and a water creature and uh, the monster um, spawns at the night um, spawns in the night time and does bad things to you <clears throat> the creature is kind of like a pig. We're not saying it's exactly like a pig, but it, it's just it does nothing. It just spawns in the day and does nothing. And the water creature is like a squid. It spawns in the water. Okay, and I'm going to choose creature. 
Okay, and we're going to end it off with a closing bracket and a semicolon. Next, go to the file base mod. Here it is. And uh, copy this method, which is public void add renderer map map blah 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 blah. Copy that and paste it into line 14 after outside of the constructor. Okay, and paste. And I'll just hit an enter here. <coughs> now, uh, because we imported map, we will not get an error because um, this method uses a, a tool in Java, well, utility called map. And if we didn't import it, we'd get an error. And we all know errors suck. Okay, so back to line 16, we're going to uh, type map in low caps, and you may be asking yourself, why do we do this? Basically, it was saying this variable is now equal to this variable inside the body of this. So we use the lower caps. <coughs> now I'm going to type dot put because that is a method inside of a map thingamabob. Opening bracket entity entity penguin dot class comma space. Now we got to give it a renderer, a, a render class. And because we're just making a human. No, thankfully, Notch has already made one. So we go new render bipped with a capital R and B. Now we do an opening bracket and type new model bipped. And I open closing bracket and a comma space 0 0.5. I have no idea why we put that there, but it asks for an integer. And I've looked on the forms and most of them say put 0 0.5. We're going to end it off with two closing brackets and a semicolon. I'm just going to look here. Okay, now I must explain. Shh, shh, don't I? Okay, so here we're saying new renderer, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Now the, and now we're giving that renderer something to render, which is the model. Okay, still don't know what this number is. Okay, now we're going to go outside of that body, in, hitting enter twice and type public, so, string, string, yep. Follow the notes, John, follow the notes. Uh, opening closing bracket, enter opening squiggly bracket, and a. Why does it not do that? It must hate me. Okay, return, uh, two quotation marks, and whatever you want. I'll do mod version, blah, <coughs> penguin. And end it off with that, end that off with a semicolon. Okay, now we can get rid of that file. We'll save it and then close it. Don't close it without saving it, because that would be stupid. Okay, so kind of close that now, close these files, and guess what we're going to do now? We're going to make a new file called Entity Penguin. So let's type Entity Penguin. Make sure it's exactly like the, um, exactly like the ones you've typed in the modern score penguin class. Uh, so yeah, Entity Penguin dot Java, and make sure it's saved in SFC. Now we're going to type the following. Package... Yep, net dot minecraft dot src uh, semicolon enter import. Oh, damn it, I can't even spell import. Okay, java dot util dot random semicolon hit enter twice and type public no public uh, class entity penguin entity damn it entity penguin uh, extends and we are so lucky that we do not have to type all this code. Now, because we're extending something, it's going to take all the files from the file we're extending, which is indeed entity animal, I believe. I believe. So let's go to entity animal. Oops. Entity A. Okay, here we go. And this is just this. Yeah. We're so lucky not to create it. <clears throat> so we don't have to do it. So let's go enter, opening squiggly bracket, and we're going to type a constructor, so public entity penguin, opening bracket world, with a capital W, space world, closing bracket, enter, opening squiggly bracket, and then we're going to type super monkey ball, super <coughs> world in low caps, and semicolon or no semicolon? Uh, seems like it needs a semicolon. Yes.
Yes. Okay, anyway, now if we go to Entity Living, because Entity Animal, I think, extends it, so we can look for that right now. Come on, come on, come on! There we go. And you can see all this wonderful code. <coughs> and what we can do with this wonderful code <coughs> is um, copy stuff and uh, change it. So let's copy this move speed, paste it into ours, <coughs> not plagiarism at all. <coughs> uh, five, actually, no, let's put it at one. I want to see this guy go super fast. <coughs> And uh, let's give it a texture. I know this code by a heart, so it's like that. And it's time to go on at the end. And now we type our directory like any other texturing thing. So inside Minecraft, just look for a file called penguin.png. Boom. And I spelled penguin wrong. Wow. I was like so looking for it. I was like, yes, I'm going to choose penguins because I know how to spell that so well. And now that I'm here, I'm spelling penguin wrong. But anyway, outside of that body, we're going to type the following, public string get living sound, uh, yes, open closing bracket, and uh, enter, opening squiggly bracket, return, two quotation marks, and a semicolon. Now we can choose animal, um, noises from any an animal we want, so if we want a, an a um, some stuff from the entity gas, we scroll down until we find all this good stuff. And uh, uh, let's choose, yeah, let's do this one. So copy that and paste it into ours. As I said, not plagiarism. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and now, <coughs> outside of that body, we're going to type public, public string get hurt sound. And I want to do a chicken. Chickens are awesome. Return. Okay, now I look for the chicken entity. Entity chicken, entity chicken, entity chicken, entity chicken, entity chicken. Here we go. Scroll down so we find the stuff. Entity huh? And entity paste. Okay. And the last one is. Come on, can you guess it? No, I'm not gonna. No. Get. I would just ruin the surprise. Return. So get death sound. Let's do. Uh, let's do sco a skeleton. Actually, let's do something with a creeper. <clears throat> yeah, creeper death. Th and paste it in here. Oops. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oops. There we go. Now we can uh, give it something to drop. So let's go public. I'm pretty sure it's an int. Get uh, drop. Get drop. <coughs> Get drop item ID. I hope that's it. You're um a item you created, so you, all you would have to do is type mod underscore, I don't know, poop, poop item, or something, dot, and then what that file's name is called, what that item's name is, so let's put, put like, poop, dot, shifted index, and if there was an, if there was a block, you would type block ID, but I think we're just gonna do, <coughs> can you guess it, can, can you guess it? Can you guess it? Yeah. Now make sure to put shifted index. <coughs> now there's all the stuff you can copy. So if you wanted it to, actually maybe they're in here. Yeah, they are. Okay, so you can copy all this stuff from here, like, <coughs> like heal, like set size. Like you just copy this stuff and paste it in here. It's super easy. And you can fiddle around with that, but if you really want to know more, you'd have to learn Java. The only way to do that is go to classes, and that sucks. I would know. Okay, so now we're done. I hope this works. Please work. Just kidding. I know it works. Yep. I know it works. <sighs> okay, so let's minimize this. Open up 
uh, terminal, type cd space, dragon and r, mpc, not mpc, n, no, mcp, yes. Hell yeah, got it right. Bash recompile.sh. Let's put our texture in. No errors. Ah, I spelled it wrong. What do you know? Mm. <laughs> it was the entity thing. Okay, save that. And do it again. Let's do it again. Da -da 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 -da. Itching my ear because it itches. Hells yeah, no errors. How are we going for time? 16 minutes. Terrible. Okay, so <laughs> start client.sh. Yeah, but most people have two parts, so this will be the first thing to have two parts. Okay, single player, create new bar. And I'll be right back once I find it. BRB. Hmm, just seem to spawn and they are right here. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, they even look like <coughs> they even look like penguins. What the hell are they? Where's their face? Oh, and they sound like ghosts. Can you hear that? They should sound like chickens. Ah! Oh. Ha! Chickens. And the death sound should be a creeper, I believe. Die, chicken! Oh my god, they sound so freaky. Die! Oh, there we go. And it didn't drop anything. Okay. Holy crap. They're spawning everywhere. I'm gonna turn my music down. Stupid gas noises. It's so freaky. And die! And die! And by default, they um have ten hearts, I believe. Oh, come on, why have to be the Yay, diamonds! Yay, diamonds! Well, uh, this. I hope this <laughs> well, I kind of messed up my outro. Okay, I hope this tutorial helped you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, send me any of your errors, because I'm more than happy to look at them and waste my time. Just kidding. Uh, so, uh, happy morning!